black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Today's subscriber sponsored request coming in from a loyal subby named JMF. We've had many a convo, but what he's looking for is Parmesan meatballs with another cheese of my choice. Went with Havarti on garlic naan with vodka sauce. Very interesting sauce to choose. You didn't know what you now know, and we now we all know, okay? But it's cooked off. Anyways, pretty simple little throw together. Simple yet delicious. Simple things usually for me create the best things. Like I said, three ingredient sandwiches, some of my favorite. So let's get to this. All right, time to make up the start of the dish. So we got pork here. Ooh, take the little diaper out. We got pork and we got beef, half and half mix. We got a bunch of shaky parm going in. We got parsley going in. Black pepper. Nice pinch of salt. One egg. And a soaked bun. Go on in with your god claws here and mix it up. All right, we got a nice mix here. I'm gonna whip up some meatballs. You don't gotta watch. I'll just show you the end product. And we're back with a plate full of balls, maybe two and a half ounces. Let's get these cooking in the sauce. All right, so I got this sauce at a nice uh, rolling simmer here. And I know you guys are gonna trip a bunch of you, but you can cook them like this. And this is how I want to cook them, just in the sauce, right from raw, because I don't want the outside to have any browning or crust. I really want very, very, very tender meatballs, so. We're gonna pop these in. They're gonna take a while, but they're just gonna simmer out for a long time in the sauce and get very, very nice and tender if we don't overflow. All right, we'll check back when they're close to ready. All right, so these meatballs are done. All right, a little moment of truth here. Just crumbles apart, perfect. There we go. Looking beautiful. I gotta take a bite. Bite for you, bite for me. Ha 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 ha. Mmm. Delicious. Could use a little more salt, but all the parm cheese will act as more salt. All right, I just want to toast the outsides of these. So one at a time, I'm just going to give a nice light toast to the outside. We're going to keep the inside soft. All right, just a light sauce layer upon the bottom to start. Just a nice little light one, nothing too cray cray. A couple pieces of Havarti down. All right, then I went ahead and I halved these balls. Because I don't want, if there's one thing I hate about meatball sandwiches is that they put the whole balls in and it's too, it's too high. The bread like teeter totters around and it's just, it gets hectic and messy. So I'm half in the balls, more Havarti, three slices on top, lots of cheese for this one. This is going to go into the broiler to melt down. Melty goodness coming in hot. Fresh shaved parm right here. Next up, we got some hot peppers, some pepper rings. We got to color coordinate, right? And then, of course, we just gotta sprinkle it with a little fresh parsley, a little something green, something nice. We do a little 360 for the kid. Put it on spin cycle. Check it from all angles. Then we gotta bring it in for case closed. A little pad on the top. And then I'm, I'm going to go ahead and half this baby down the center. And then we open up the center and just see where we're at. Ooh, can't really see the meatballs too, too much, but it's going to be good. Let's eat this. All right, yo, what up and what is good? Shout out to my boy JMF. Always been loyal to the core. We've had communications too. He, he's throwing ideas at me of like just ways to optimize and maybe offer some new things and he's just been creative with uh trying to 
create services to kind of offer something to potentially have paid things. Anyways, he's always spitballing, but uh, he's uh, he's always in the comments, always on the lives, always a good guy. So this is for him the you know what it is. It's the tender meatball, vodka sauce, garlic naan, and uh, I'm splurging today. I got myself an Italian cola called Brio. And you need to have a wine opener, well, a bottle opener to pop the top. But it is a uh, Kinoto style cola, which is a very delicious style cola. Very herbaceous, licorice-y root flavors. It's like the root beer of Coke. Like cola, but root beer, kind of. Not as, not the same, but similar. You know what I'm talking about if you've had one. You get it. I love a good Kinoto. A proper cola. A real cola. Old world. Oh my god. It, these just hit so different. It's such a more authentic, it's like Mexican Coke. Kind of. All right. Ice man acting up. What a guy. He's been getting jammed up because I've been using tap water recently. And you could tell that it's, it's hard water. It's very different. The minerality of it is extremely different than uh, the jugs of water I was using. All right. This is going to be sketchy. Uh, still trying to get to it pretty hot. Ah, uh, don't do it to me. I should just cut this in half, actually. I got it. Be right back. It's too much to handle in uh, the one big piece. It's not a smart tactic. We'll have it in two chunks. Four chunks, actually. That's what it will end up being. Okay, meatball, cheese. We got a pepper and a ball at this end. I wasn't sure if I was going to make a sandwich or if I was going to, like kind of put it in each pita and kind of half it like a taco style but this seemed like the best way all right shout out jmf let's get this So I made the executive decision that this video is not the video. To talk about what I was going to talk about, that next installment. This is just an eater. This is too messy and like... Not going to be long enough. Because... Everything that I have to talk about for the next part of the story It's too detailed. It might have to be like a chips and dip or snacks or something like that. Just not the appropriate video. All right. Let's talk about this though for a sec. What my thoughts here are so far with everything. Pepper bites. Definitely make it. The meatballs came out super tender. I love that method. First time trying. I'm going to run your ranch a bite. 
Um, definitely could have used more salt in the meat mix to make everything pop a little more. I thought the garlic naan would be garlicky, garlicky enough to complement. So I didn't add garlic to the meatballs. However, they could use garlic. For sure. They could definitely stand to use some garlic. All in all though, very delicious, hard to go wrong. And the Havarti was a good choice. Wow. But yeah, y'all, it's Saturday. Hope y'all are having a good Saturday. I'm going to have a solid one because Supercross is on tonight or today, today, tonight, day and night kind of thing. Practice and then the, the race, the show. It was very sunny out today. However, it's back to minus 22 for today. So we do not love that. But after tomorrow, it's going back to like, we're getting into, there's actually positive. We're going into plus three and four next week, <laughs> finally. I'm super looking forward to that. Can't wait to get some walks in, out in the sun. This is really random, but I'm going to take this moment to tell you a pet peeve of mine that I noticed today on Instagram. It's always on every like cute animal pose. But there's this video of this dog. You've probably seen it, some of you. Where the owner's like on the couch lounging and his feet are like kind of hanging off the couch. And the dog's like kind of standing up on his hind legs and like trying to like give him the eyes at the owner and like laying his head on the feet and like da da da. It's trying to be cute. Trying to get love. And I don't know, the video is like 45 seconds or whatever. And by the end of it, the owner's kind of like scratching the dog with his foot. Like on the head. And everybody in the comments, or lots of people in the comments, like, like you pick him up right now. <laughs> people are all like mad about not pulling the dog up. And I just think to myself sometimes, I go, you understand that this is a video clip, right? This isn't a live stream. like you can't inform him to pick up the dog you're not going to change this clip it's a clip now i know most of them are being just like jokey of like the just you pick him up right now kind of thing but i swear some of them come off as like they really think that <laughs> they're gonna change the video somehow with being like pick him up <laughs> It's just weird. It's a weird phenomenon. I just know better in my head to ever be like, pick that guy up now. I'll be like, I don't really comment, but I'll be like, but it, it was, I'd be like, oh, it's cute or whatever, but 
And the dog doesn't seem like... He doesn't seem like a very loved dog, you know? So, anyways. It's just weird. People, like, really get... They, people get crazy about animal posts. I'll just say that. And there's always, like, that handful of really crazy people that have to take it to, like... That's neglect. That's animal cruelty. Oh, my God. Like, they get so heated. And you're like, you need to chill. The dog is fine. The owner is very loving. You can very much tell the dog loves the owner. The dog's going to be fine. Okay? 45 seconds, not on the couch. It's going to be fine. It's not traumatized. All right. To be honest, I'm perfectly satiated. I don't want to go any further. I, d I don't want to get more full because I do have kind of some stuff to do and I don't want to be lugging around and being, Ugh. so that was actually a perfect amount right there. And I'll leave that right there. Um, we will follow up with the rest of what I want to talk about later on down in another video. Uh, but I need, I need the appropriate video. This is, wasn't it. This is just a more of a get, get right in there. You know what I mean? So shout out JMF, very delicious, good suggestion, kind of a, Never done before in my life, never seen before. An amalgam type situation, if you will. Delicious nonetheless. Flatbread meets meatball sandwich thing. Anyways, till the next one, y'all know what to do. Eat good, live well. That's stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.